did a late night Facebook marketplace pickup. Got this badass solid wood door with a really cool little thing. A little cool glass. It's really big, but I could probably cut it down a couple inches and uh, put some new hardware on it. Yeah. Another day. Gonna be working on the swing out wall. It's gonna have the clear tough text on it swing open and then once the deck is made it will open up onto the deck. Um, I could not find the pivot bolts but I got these half inch hex bolts and I just have like the double nut and I'll just lock those together and then I'll hopefully pivot the wall. Uh, I gotta go back to Lowe's or Home Depot again because I forgot that this is doubled up on this side so I'm gonna have to get a larger bolt for this side but just gonna work on framing that first. So first step I'm going to do on the swing door is I just want to match this bevel, 25 degree angle at the bottom. Swing wall coming along. Got to make sure that I square it before I do the little 45 degree angle pieces because if I make it when it's not square like that, I think it's going to be real jacked up. All right, first time doing angle cuts on the circular saw. Uh, I think these are about a 45. Just set it to the 45 degree setting. Zip. Boom. Damn. Yeah. Other than that, just got to go back to Lowe's and grab that really long bolt, which I hope I could find and hopefully this will fit. <laughs> oh, I hope it fits. So a bit of a price difference with this Tough Tex and the Polycarbonate Tough Tex. I think mainly I have to get this one because I'm in the desert and this one has only a max temperature of 120 and this is 170. So this one's 1898. I'm gonna have to do 26 a panel. And I need four of them. So have it temporarily up. Uh, it fits in there, but man, something is definitely off. There's like hardly any gap over here. And then I've definitely got a little bit of a gap over here. I'm hoping once I put the bolts in, that'll kind of, I can adjust that. I'm a little worried. Seems like the double header might be sinking in the middle a little bit. I'm hoping that doesn't catch when it swings open, but you know, all that can be adjusted. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Oh, dang. Only have a 3 8 drill bit. I'll try to make it work. Another day. Got the right drill bit. Uh, if you don't have the right size, just, just go buy the right size because I kind of messed the wood up. I'm going to put some putty over it, but yeah. This will work. Oh, my God. Turns an hour job into... 10 second job, just have the right tools. Boom. And once I figure it out, I'll just grab two channel locks and, you know, lock those to each other so they don't move. All right, got the bolts in. This is gonna be the first attempt in opening it. It looks a little tight at the bottom. Um, nothing I can't tweak. But yeah, I'm gonna see if it swings open and doesn't fall on me. <laughs> oh All right, here's the door I purchased off Facebook Marketplace for 60 bucks. Uh, 
honestly a lot nicer than I thought it was gonna be. It's solid wood. Um, it's huge though. I think it's like almost eight feet, 36 inches. So we're gonna cut it down a little bit uh, to fit the cabin a little better. Right now, like it wouldn't even fit. Uh, I put it up there and, you know, with framing, yeah. No way, so trim time. Already ran out of battery, gonna hand saw this thing. <laughs> door, cut a little 25 degree angle, have that mate nice, yeah it'll look good. Okay so I held it up, leveled it, I think I got my angles for the header on the door. beautiful day out here today gonna to be working on hanging the door um, I googled how much room to leave in the rough framing it seems like a lot of room so I made it a little smaller and I cut the door by hand because my saw died the other day and I definitely cut it a bit crooked but I think it was already crooked uh, so we'll see how this goes So I know you're supposed to like cut out a little thing and recess these hinges. Um, I'm just making a cabin, like, I don't know. I don't really see the point in going through all that. Um, maybe down the road I could like take it off. I want to get it perfect, but I don't know. It seems like a non-issue to me. Comment if I'm totally wrong. All right, door hardware is on. I'm gonna put something underneath the door to set it to the stud. I'm not sure exactly how much room to leave. I might just put a two by four under it, so like inch and a half gap, because I still have to put the final flooring in and maybe some kind of threshold underneath it. And that'll leave me about like a quarter inch, half inch on the top. Um, but again, like I don't really know <laughs> what I'm doing, but sometimes I feel like instead of doing like inaction, just kind of wing it and I could always reverse it and fix it. And I'll definitely learn a valuable lesson. Uh, if I have to do it all again. So that's just my personal philosophy on getting stuff done. The door is hung, which is definitely not perfectly level and cut crooked, but nothing some trim can't fix. Yay. All right, now I'm gonna work on putting up the clear Tough Tex panels. Um, you want to make sure that you pre-drill into the tough text a little bit bigger than the screw. Um, but what I'm glad I just did a sample, um, you know, kind of obvious, but you know, don't do it all the way through the wood. So just the tough text needs to be pre-drilled, not the actual wood. So glad I did that. All right, probably going to be easier to take this swing door off and then build it on the ground.
the tough tex is installed well halfway on the swing wall i just put a couple screws in just wanted to make sure there was like nothing i was overlooking so now it's up got a little windex off it got some fingerprints and dirt off um yeah just gonna throw some more screws in it i think i'm gonna add that little wooden piece down there to so hopefully and then i'll have flashing on the bottom to keep the water away but yeah it looks good it kind of uh distorts things a little bit when you look at which is nice it's not just like super super clear but it looks nice I dig it kind of show you a little extra space it has to expand who knows should work not too tight they say all right all bolted down i just have a feeling this thing is gonna leak really bad the first monsoon but luckily it only rains like two months out of the year here so uh but yeah we'll see i tried not to over tighten these i didn't crack anything i just spaced every other valley because it gets really windy in this little corridor so i feel like this is gonna be really loud um i hope it's not though because i'd love to keep it but Worst case, you know, I'll just turn it into a, a normal door. Uh, I'm just gonna wipe it down, got my fingerprints all over it. Uh, yeah, and one thing, if you're making this, in the plans, it says to overlap the edges a little bit. Um, I think it only means for the bottom and the top because I, I had it overhanging a little bit here and then it just, you know, you can't open the door if it's like that. It'll get pinched on the wood. So I had to kind of like, you know, get to scrunch this up. But, you know, it's not very noticeable. Yeah, love it. All right, maybe about a little over two weeks into the build. Today I'm gonna work on framing the kitchen, which is gonna have a window and some kind of screen up there, which I'm also going to put up there in the triangle piece for cross ventilation. Yeah, low energy day. We'll see what happens. It's perfect. Woohoo! Yeah, it's like before, a couple days ago, I didn't know how to make an angle cut. And now I'm getting very confident with the basics. So it really shows, I think, if you want to learn something, just put yourself in a situation where you have to. And you'll learn a lot quicker than YouTube. Yay. Here's the window I'm going to frame in for the kitchen area. Got at Lowe's, I think it was like 75 bucks. I really wanted to just get a cool old school wooden window, but to make this cabin in the desert livable, I think having a screen and some kind of airflow is important. So I went with the uh, cookie cutter window, but I think it'll look nice once I put some trim around it. So the other day on this side, I was, did a stud on each side and I just cut the 65 degree angle. 
Um, I just really don't like the look of it. Just like half the wood hanging off. Um, so I think I'm gonna try this. I turn the studs sideways and then it mates perfectly. It has like a lower profile in this tiny cabin. And I'm thinking with the larger thing here, I could build nice shelves off that. I do have like the window sill coming this way. But I think if I do that there and there, it'll be nice. All right, going back and changing at the studs. Yeah, I just like this a lot more. I honestly think it gives it more support too. It's just connecting a lot more. I don't know. All right, I'm pretty much done the rough framing. Got that. I still have to make the windows. Still not sure how I'm gonna do that, but yeah, I'm happy I'm getting a lot more comfortable with doing the angle cuts. Um, when I did these, they were, I struggled with those, but these are definitely getting cleaner. So that's cool. Yeah, good progress today. Got the framing up from the other day. Took a nice rest day, checked out Patagonia yesterday. Good times. So today, first order of business is I'm gonna try to do the framing for the loft. I've got um, two by sixes for the sides, uh, two by fours for the joist. Uh, I want it to be bomb proof. I want it to be like support two full size adults. And I also have the luxury since I did the double, I want it to be as low as possible on this side so you have a lot of headspace. So I decided about right here I have a mark. The bottom of the framing will be like six foot three inches so most people unless you're freakishly tall can walk under it no problem. And I think I'm gonna make it uh, six feet long so it'll kind of end right here and then you're gonna have a little bit of space to access it. Not exactly sure how what I'm gonna do like build a ladder. I kind of want to maybe have something fun, like some climbing holds. Now you go up the side to access it, but we'll see once it's up. And uh, yeah, just, yeah, if it's like right here, like you're gonna have a good, hopefully like four feet across and you could sit straight up, read a book. Uh, this'll be a skylight, look out the window. Yeah, I think it's gonna be really cool. It seems like I might not be like documenting a lot. It's just so hot out here that every time I put my phone up, it overheats and then it won't let me film for like a half hour. <laughs> so uh, if you noticed not getting footage of doing things, that's kind of why. All right, so got the supports up. Feel really strong. more or less have the loft framing up feels really strong um i'm short two joist hangers i did not count correctly um it's about like five feet five inches right now um i want to put one more joist so if you're like six foot three you can sleep without your feet dangling off okay so i just put a little scrap piece of osb up there and then I just had the idea, and I'm pretty excited about it. 
like what you know since I made a double why am I gonna have to try to squeeze my body into it from here why don't I just completely run the loft all the way to the end and then since I have the double you know why not just crawl up in put a ladder in here and then there'll be about six feet of sleeping space and then I could build out some kind of storage because that's going to be the issue I don't really have any room to like put my clothes or anything so there could be like a little you know dresser up there maybe I don't know I really like that idea I think that'd be really cool successfully made it up into the loft so this is going to be some kind of skylight we'll have a mattress that'll bump me up a little higher and yeah I'm thinking about just coming up from here and yeah maybe building it all the way out and maybe even having like some kind of I don't know I guess there'll be a window there maybe some kind of TV yeah this is cool I really like it and the head Bedroom's pretty good. This is me sitting up straight. Got room. Might be a little scary coming down, but no, the good ladder should be fine. Just spotted my little guy. He's so cool. I don't want to get too close to him and bother him. Got a wide angle. But, oh, he's so pretty. Good spot, dude. <laughs> 